Today in this video we will learn about name servers and DNS concepts. We will also learn about how to create name servers so that every website can point out towards them. We are going to set up a VPS from a basic scratch level. So before setting up a server we need all these things. First of all, in order to understand the basic concepts of name server, we need to know that every website in this world is pointing towards a name server that is further resolving towards an IP address of the server. In order to create a name server, we need to go inside domain control panel where we will find two options, name server and child name server. In some of the domain control panel, child name servers are also known as host names. We will create a child name server in the name of ns1.fullcracked.com assuming that I am taking here an example of fullcracked.com. So we will generate two name servers as ns1 and ns2, mapping it towards the IP address of my server that I am going to set up. Now you need to open the cPanel of fullcracked.com wherever fullcracked.com is hosted. If fullcracked.com is not hosted yet or if, it, if this is the first time you are setting up a server, you can ignore this procedure of going inside a cPanel account. You can repeat this procedure later on. For now, you need to create an A record and then map ns1.fullcrack.com towards the IP address and in the same way you need to map ns2.fullcrack.com as well. Now finally, we have successfully created two name servers in the name of ns1.fullcrack.com and ns2.fullcrack.com. Finally, any website in this world now can point out towards ns1.fullcrack.com and ns2. Here I am pointing fullcrack.com towards these name servers that I have created for myself. In the same way DNS system works for host names. Host name is nothing but the simply a name server that is used to point out towards the main IP of the server. In order to create a host name, we simply need to repeat the same procedure that we did earlier for creating name servers. We will simply open domain control panel and we will move inside child name servers and create a record for server.fullcrack.com. The same thing we need to repeat inside cPanel zone records. After creating these records, we are ready to use name server 1, name server 2 and host name. So these are the three things that we need to set up a VPS server. However, these three things can also be created after setting up a VPS. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you in our next video. Till then, bye bye, take care.